Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. Come on in, come on in. Blessed morning, blessed morning. Thank you for joining. Please share, tag, and invite. Favor filled Friday. Blessed morning, Melissa. Blessed morning. God bless you, woman of God. Blessed morning, cousin Nikki. Thank you for joining. God bless you to my wife, my beautiful wife. God bless you. Thank you for joining this morning. Gonna wait for a little bit more people to get on this morning. I'm just excited because I know that God is doing something great and new. And something good is coming, as the song says. And I truly believe that there's a shift in this atmosphere. Uh, we might not see everything, but we can certainly feel when God is doing something. Because it shall resonate in your spirit. Amen. So we just thank the Lord this morning for what he is doing and what he has done. Good, blessed morning, daughter. Blessed morning. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. The sun shines. Amen. From the, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. From the going down of the same to the rising of the sun. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. Tag, share, invite, like. Thumbs ups, hearts. Let the Lord know that you appreciate him this morning for waking you up, for starting you on your way, for he is worthy to be praised. There should be a continuous praise on the inside of you. Mm, because if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, where would we be? Well, we know, but we know we thank God for his faith and favor that is on our lives because he gives us a measure of faith. And we thank him for the favor, the gift that he has bestowed upon us. Amen. We thank him for his grace and his mercies that are new in each and every morning. And as the song says, something good is coming. Something good is coming to you. Get that in your spirits. Something good is coming to you. You have to be in expectation, knowing that the Lord, what he has promised you, will come to fruition. Amen? So we stand on his promises this morning. We decree and we declare that great and mighty things are getting ready to take place in this land, and especially in our lives. We thank the church this morning. We are the church. We thank because we've been replenished. You know, the Lord is doing some things. He's doing a new thing on the inside of us. Amen? When we keep our minds focused on him, when we keep our hearts open and our hearts pure, when we come before people with the right motives, amen? We thank the Lord this morning. We just thank the Lord this morning. We give him honor and glory. We thank him. We thank him. Bless morning, Sister Denise. God bless you for joining. God bless him. God bless you. Yes, it's all oh, happy first day of spring, amen. Amen. I know it was something in my spirit. We're springing forward this morning, praise God. We're springing forward in the things that God has called us to do. Amen. Mm. We got to keep it going. Something good is coming to you. Get that on the inside of you. Get that. Get it. Get it. Get it. Let the Holy Spirit stir up those gifts and everything on the inside of you. I just thank you this morning for coming on for Jordan. The morning encouragement. 
we know, I know that this time shift has been, you know, working on me, but it's an adjustment. And like with all things, we have to get adjusted. Amen. So the Lord, when the Lord shifts, we have to adjust to what God is doing. He doesn't adjust to what we got going on. No, we have to adjust to him. He said, come up hither. We have to stay in the realm where he is. And when he shifts, we need to shift as well. That means we must have our minds right in the name of Jesus. So I just thank you this morning for coming on. It's a favor-filled Friday, a faith fav, faith and favorite-filled Friday. It's a little tongue twister that is, but it's all good in the name of Jesus. God is good all the time. So I just thank you this morning again for coming on. Please share the live, comment, um, hearts, thumbs up. You know, because we're trying to we're trying to take this thing global. Um, we know that there's a lot going on in the world. Uh, our hearts and our prayers goes out to the Asian community for the senseless killings and things that happened in Georgia this past week. It's like, when is it gonna stop? You know, but you know, we know that God sits high and He looks low, and the Lord says, "Vengeance is His." But we sincerely pray for those people this morning and every community that's why i always say you know it's not just happening in the black community it's not just happening in the white community the asian community hispanic community it's happening all over you have people in china that's being persecuted for you know preaching and you know the gospel and believing in god so we have to be mindful and and when we see things like this happen and we know that the days are near that's why we have to stay on the throne on the throne room floor before the lord at his feet and in his presence at all times amen so i just thank the lord this morning for you know allowing us to see another glorious day I thank the Lord for just, you know, giving us the willpower to go forward and do the things that he has called us to do. You know, we've all had some deliverance from things of our past. We're still going through things. The Lord said, he never said that the road would be easy, but, you know, it will definitely be worth it. And when it gets rough, he's right there by us. He's with us. Amen. The Lord is with us. Thank you for joining, Overseer. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. We thank you this morning. Uh, it's a it's a faith and favorite filled Friday uh, here on you know morning encouragement. So we just thank you this morning, and we're just giving God thanks this morning, knowing that there's something good that's about to happen. When we get that on the inside of us, as I said before. We have to wait in expectation, but as we wait, wait in the Lord and on the Lord, we still have to, you know, keep our hands to the plow. We have to continuously do the work that the Lord has told us to do. We just can't sit there and be stagnant and just waiting for things just to, to drop out of the sky. No, we have to be uh, workers. You know, the word the Lord says that the laborers are few, but the harvest is plenty. Many want the harvest, but don't want to put in the work. Mm, they don't work like that. The man who don't work, don't eat, the Lord says. That's scripture. But I thank the Lord this morning. <laughs> Because, you know, he says we should not be slothful. Amen. So, glory to God. I'm not going to be before you long this morning. Uh, it's it's a favor, Phil Friday. I'm just over, I'm not going to say overwhelmed, but uh, I have a, a great joy on the inside of me because I, I can see what the Lord is doing. I can feel what the Lord is doing. And, you know, it's, it's a great thing when you can have the discernment and have a relationship and be in sync with God. Amen. We don't know his every move, but when we trust in him with our whole heart, knowing that all things will work together for our good. You know, that's that's what his word says, but we just have to trust in him. Amen. It's not up to us, you know, and you know, to, to sometimes we're afraid to take a big step, but we can't be afraid in this hour. The Lord doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. So we got to make sure our minds are right this morning. The Lord, yes, the Lord will always make a way. He has a ram in the bush. He will provide. He's Jehovah Jireh. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
So I thank you all for coming on this morning, as always, you know, in my wife's absence, you know, I, I thank God for the woman of God. But, you know, we have other duties that we have to attend to work and so forth and so on. So we try to be consistent as we come on as possible. But we all know that life happens. <laughs> Amen. But glory still be to God. Glory to God. So we just thank the Lord this morning for what he's doing. You know, I was reading something. And it was just saying simply don't be basic. Don't be basic and because our God is not basic. He's not, you know, normal. We are children of the most high. We are. Our father, <laughs> he's the king. We are the heirs to the throne. Amen. We have birthrights that we continuously not walk, that we are not walking in, and we're not reaping the full benefits of who we are because we don't know who we are. Amen. But when you know who you are and who you are, you'll look at life a little differently. Amen. So I just thank the Lord this morning. I just I just got to keep saying, I just thank the Lord this morning. And that's where we have to get in the place of thanksgiving. We have to get in the place of thanksgiving. We have to. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Many times the Father has given us things. He, he's, re, he's rewarded us. But as soon as he rewards us, it's like we go back to doing the same old thing. We be praying and fasting, and once we get what's in our hands, it's like we push God to the side. We can't have that off and on relationship like some relationships that we have had in our past with, you know, people. No, it's a different kind of love because God doesn't do, he doesn't push us to the side. He's consistent in what he does for us. We just don't see it because we're so boggled down and, 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 and taken off course by things that don't have any value. Amen. It's a distraction that the enemy throws because he knows that he can come in and wow you with something that tickled your fancy back in the day. And something that got you a little bit, you know, mm, giddy on the inside. But we, we, we're we getting giddy for the wrong thing. Amen. This flesh must die. <laughs> You know, we must nail it to the cross daily. <laughs> Amen. So we must think of those things that are above and not beneath. So we thank you, Lord, that he made us more than conquerors. And we have to know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and who was called according to his purpose. Amen. I had wrote down some notes. I just want to share this morning. Like I said, I won't be before you long. It's just simple things, you know, it was, you know, the Lord dropped in my spirit when we were doing um, Bible study the other night. And it said, you know, we were just talking about how opportunities may come. And sometimes those opportunities may not come again. But we are grateful and thankful for the Lord, our God, who we serve, that sometimes the opportunity will come around again. Because, uh, prime example, um, and I'm just being transparent here because, you know, that's all I know how to be. Amen. But, you know, just to make a long story short, I had some things that was on my credit report, not many things, but one particular item that shouldn't have been there. I felt that it shouldn't have been there because I believe I paid what was owed to my old uh, apartment complex where I used to live because I painted the walls and we know that sometimes they like to keep your deposit for you know when you you know redo you know certain things inside the apartment so when I moved I told you know they told me what was what the manager at that time said okay everything is clear everything is good you know I said okay so just you know you can keep the deposit it will, you know for whatever the paint or whatever you have to replace to do whatever you need to do to get it back to it you know rightful standings so long story short they put me in collections for a amount that was actually for a whole month's rent and i'm like well how is that possible when i you know left on good graces but you know the enemy always will throw our position you know we, adversities will come so we know things happen so to make a long story short again, um, 
They put me in credit collections. It's been sitting there for so long. There was one opportunity that I did get a letter stating that they wanted to settle the debt for 50%. I went, the letter was sent to my P.O. box. I did not get the letter in time from the time frame that was allowed that they were offering me that settlement offer. So I missed that window of opportunity. But as now that my wife and I are preparing to transition in some things, and this is almost, I want to say four years later, four years later now, four years later that happened four years ago when I missed that window of opportunity so fast forward to today and I just said that the Lord was going to speed up some things so I prayed about it because I know that we got some things going on that we're trying to accomplish and I said Lord I need you to do something for me I need you to have this opportunity to come up again And I tell you, people of God, no later than a week after that, I went to the mailbox and lo and behold, there was a letter from the credit bureau or well, the national credit systems with that same apartment complex giving me an offer letter again to settle a debt in the amount of 50%. I say, my God, you can't tell me the God that we don't serve is on our side and he will send, give us favor. That's that, that, that. There's another window of opportunity. Amen. So we have to be mindful that when we see things and when we get things that we must pay attention. Just don't toss things to the side. Just don't take it lightly. But we must pay attention to what the Lord is doing in that season. Because we don't want to have a, a season where we miss an opportunity to do something great that the Lord is calling us to do. And, you know, just another example. And, you know, like I said, I won't want to be before you long. I just want to come and talk about, you know, miss, you know, miss windows of opportunities. But the Lord will still bring it around again that because he's just that faithful to us because he knows what we're in need of. And because we're his children, he will give us our heart's desires. Amen. We don't have to beg. We just simply ask. And when you walk upright in the sight of God and in all his righteousness, he will give you just what you need. Amen. So, and, you know, another transparent moment, you know, my wife and I, we traveled over the weekend last week. And, you know, we were... At a birthday celebration, you know, small, intimate, and someone said that you know we're gonna wait for you know the pastor to pray. <laughs> so a gentleman stood up and said, "Okay, well, we're gonna wait for the pastor to pray." Well, where's the pastor? So my wife raised her hand and said, "Here I am." <laughs> he didn't believe that it was a pastor in the room, <laughs> but after my wife raised her hand and said that she was the pastor and she was going to pray. After she prayed, the gentleman said, man, I'm glad that you prayed because I had just been going through some things. And the Lord will place us in the right place at the right time, even if it's in an environment that we are not familiar with or even comfortable in. Amen. So we have to have the discernment and we must be alert at all times. Now, this was a missed window of opportunity. The gentleman stated that he was going through some things and he needed that prayer. Because the environment we were in and the Holy Spirit rebuked me. And I, I, it's just, a, it's just a, a transparent moment because I get rebuked. I was so focused on, you know, everything else until I totally miss that window of opportunity to talk to the gentleman because of what he had said. We never know what a person is going through. And the thing that I 
like to tell people is that because some people know of God and they may not have a, a, a relationship with God and they might not know how to seek after God but that's why us the disciples that we come into place that we can be that person that comes in and just you know give them God give them Jesus talk to them listen to them more importantly listen to them hear from the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit lead us and guide us but we never want to miss an opportunity to minister to someone who may be going through something amen but being spirit led being spirit led but we cannot be so focused and caught up on the things that are around us that we miss what God is doing in that season or in that during that time so I definitely prayed after that because I did not get to minister to that gentleman but I definitely prayed that whatever he had may be going through that the Lord will see him through it and I pray that there's another opportunity for him to speak to someone in regards to what he may have been going through amen so I just want to share that this morning and you know just get that out there you know because it was pressing on me and I know that when the Lord you know weighs on us with some things you know we have to you know release and I just want to be transparent because each and every one of you who are on here who are listening you know we have windows of opportunity that we make and minister to someone we make and help someone we never know when someone is just on their last leg and who just wants to throw in the towel but when the Lord sends the help when he sends the reinforcement you know to reassure us that what we're doing is not in vain or you know that what we're going through that he you know he he will send the people that we need in our lives to help us to push forward amen because we, we 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 are the pushers we are the pushers you know we, we're here to help i always tell people you know like the angel that comes to stir the waters you know what let's see what let's see what god has going on this morning amen so I just thank you this morning, and like I said, I wasn't going to be before you long. I know I got on a little bit late this morning, and I just pray that this, you know, that morning encouragement has been a blessing to you, and just know that something good is is about to happen. Something good is about to happen. You know, we just, you know, can't overthink. We we shouldn't overthink it, but we just trust in God that you know you made the right decisions and continue growing. Because I, I made a post the other day and it said, you know, we have to continue growing, you know, and not even though when we stumble or we, 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 we trip, you know, we can't when we wherever we were tripped on, we just gotta keep going. You know, we didn't fall, but we tripped. So just keep going. Amen. Keep on walking, keep on pushing to your destiny, doing what God has told you to do. You know, we have to leave no stone unturned. We have no stone unturned. So, as I get into the morning sayings this morning, can't, can't leave off here without the morning sayings. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you. God bless you, overseer. Thank you. Thank you. The Holy Spirit, you know, he, he he drops in on us and he gives us what, you know, what we need to release to the people of God, you know, and that's another thing I always tell people: if you don't, if the if the Lord is not giving you anything to say, don't say it. No, but we we're grateful and thankful that the Lord uses us. You know, He uses us as willing vessels and oracles for His kingdom. Amen. So who's Him? H I M M. He is molding me, Jesus. We hashtag addicted to Jesus. We be about that Jesus life. We stay ready so we don't have to get ready. We have to stay ready and be prepared at all times. We checking up the, we chucking up the deuces to Satan. We told him he got to pack his bags. He got to get up out of here. He ain't welcomed here. Amen. We don't like him and he don't like us. We not scared. We don't give up. God don't give us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and sound mind. Satan got to pack his bags. He's been evicted. The battle's already been won. It belongs to you. It belongs to us. We won the battle. Amen. God fought for us and we won. Amen. Who's bad? 
We bad. We blessed and delivered. We're blessed and delivered. We're blessed and delivered. And I just want to pause right there, you know, because the Lord, because, you know, we have our, we kingdom baby shirts. So the Lord dropped on my spirit about a blessed and delivered shirt. So that shirt is coming. It's already out. I'm going to share that shirt today on the post. I believe I did it before. I'm not sure if anybody saw it, but I'm going to reshare it again. So it says, who we're rocking with? We're rocking with the best, J-E-S-U-S. -S. They play checkers, we play chess, because we're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Amen? We tighten up. We strap up. We put on the whole armor of God. We always ready. That's Ephesians 6 and 11. We got to stay strapped. Got to stay with the full armor on. We live a life of prosperity. We are restored. Amen? We have to pump our brakes. Remember, the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. Amen. Lord, use us for your glory. That's what we need to tell him. Use us, Lord, for your glory. You cannot be healed from what you don't reveal. I ain't saying reveal all your business to everybody, but take it to God. Even though he know what you're going through, reveal it to him. Amen. We got to reveal and, and he will send those trusted people who you can talk to. But we have to have discernment. Amen. Stop being extra. You know, some of us, you know, we be extra. You know, uh, you know I, 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 I could be extra sometimes, but but we know the Lord, the Lord has us, but, you know, not over extra. Amen. It says you are what you answer to. Stop being called anything but the child of God or what God has, the name God has given you. You know who you are. You know whose you are. You are more than a conqueror. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are an heir to the throne. You are a kingdom ambassador. We don't shake. We shift. Be, in, be unshakable in your faith. Stand firm on God's word, the solid rock. Amen. Don't say it. Just pray about it. First responders in prayer. That's who we are. Amen. We are essential workers for the kingdom of God. Pray about everything. Glory to God. We pray together and we praise together. We kingdom for life. Don't compromise who you are in Christ. Trust God when you can't trace him. We will bow to nothing other than God. We will not bow to anything but God. Amen. We're not living in a pandemic. We're living in a shift. I thank my wife for that. The Lord dropped that in her spirit. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been piggybacking off of that. I've been using it. But, you know, I just thank the Lord for her. Amen. Amen. Because he downloads some stuff in her. I'm telling y'all. Yeah. She, yeah. You know, so we stay in posture of prayer. You know, prayer. We pray without ceasing. Amen. Prayer is the new pandemic. Amen. We stay in our lanes. Everyone has their own purpose. There's no competition. We should encourage one another. Iron sharpens iron. And our all-time favorite, as my wife would say, is Rum Rum. We kingdom, baby. We kingdom for life. Amen. We are kingdom for life because we live in a kingdom mentality. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So I pray that this morning encouragement has blessed you. Know that something good is about to happen. Get that on the inside of you. God is doing a new thing. This is the year of the new thing. Amen. Last year we came up out the valley. You know, the Lord was hiding us from some things. And it's a good place to be in the valley and in the wilderness sometimes. Because the Lord gets to mold us. He gets to, you know, spend time with us. He needs. To, he, he gets to show us, you know. And so that we have a heart that, you know, of, of gratitude that he can take us to the next level, take us to that, take us to the altitude where we need to go to and just keep on pursuing him and, and, and trusting in him and fasting and praying because some things only come through fasting and praying. Amen. So and I encourage you this morning, stay alert, stay vigilant so that you don't miss your windows of opportunity. And know that something good is going to happen. Amen. It's a faith and favor filled Friday. God bless you all. We love you all. And we are continuously praying for each and one of you.
and every one of you. Amen. Be blessed.